We didn't get a lot of sunshine this weekend, but a pretty nice sunset earlier this evening. That low deck of clouds, though, continuing to stream on in as we wrap up the weekend. And now we've got some showers falling from some of those clouds. And it was very fall like this weekend. I actually broke down last night, turned the heat on. For yeah, a, a lot of people did, but it's yeah. what you're going to tell us is it's going to heat up a little bit. It's going to warm up. So we're going to okay. go in the right direction here Good. and start Good. to get things a little closer to average. Right now, let's take you out downtown as we look from the rooftop here at the RTV6 studios. And you see some rain is coming down, pretty good downpour in progress right now over Indianapolis. We'll look at the radar here in just a second. Right now, 52 degrees. Those winds, at least they're light out of the east at five miles per hour. All right, here's radar. And over the last couple of hours, we went from a very quiet weather pattern to scattered showers and even a couple of rumbles of thunder here and there. Around Highway 40 into southern portions of Hendricks County, right on into Plainfield, dealing with some of that moderate to heavy rain coming down. It moves pretty quick, though, so it won't last too long for you. And there you see it goes right through the heart of Indianapolis, stretching on into Greenfield for you this evening. Also, we're dealing with some of that rain. No lightning at the moment, but we have had some lightning with the shower that's moving through the Columbus area. Maybe some small, very tiny hail in this also possible. So as you head out in the morning, we'll have some areas of rain. Not everyone's going to see it for the morning commute, but it is going to be cool. 46 degrees for the overnight low, 50 degrees by 9 o'clock. So you're going to need to bundle up early on in the day. Here's a look at TrueCast again at 7 o'clock in the morning. A couple of those showers, mainly west of Indianapolis. Then we'll see those continuing to spread to the east and northeast as we head toward lunchtime and even into the afternoon could get a couple of additional thunderstorms not talking about severe weather here but again maybe a little bit of small hail in a couple of those storms because there's so much cold air up above the surface and then as we get into monday evening things start to quiet down for us once again. Temperature wise, we go from 48 degrees at 8 o'clock to 55 at 11. So even with the clouds and showers around, looks like we'll get back into the 60s finally. 61 degrees at 5 o'clock and then those skies will begin to clear out a little bit as we head toward 11 o'clock in the evening. 50. So your evening plans in pretty good shape on our Monday. 65 will be your high in Bloomington, 62 in Muncie and 63 in Indianapolis. Still shy of that average in the upper half of the 60s. And on Tuesday, don't put that umbrella away because we have more rain that's going to be moving through. Here's TrueCast 6 a.m. Looks like it should be dry, but there comes that rain that will be with us as we go through the day and into the afternoon and even the evening. A few of those showers sticking around. But even with the clouds and showers on Tuesday, yep, we're going to continue to warm things up. It's going to be breezy the next couple of days. Southwest winds around 15 to 20 miles per hour, but that gets us to 65 Tuesday afternoon in Indy, nearing 70 in Bloomington. Seven day planning forecast. The pick of the week is Wednesday. We'll dry things out and push 70 degrees for a high, but showers are back with us on Thursday and Friday. And some areas, especially south of I 70 by Friday, could pick up some pretty heavy rain. We'll stay with those highs in the low 60s early next weekend. Good thing about this time of year, usually no no heat, no air conditioning, just open up the windows. Save on the <laughs> utility bill. All right, Cal, thanks. Well,